Survivors of sexual abuse at the hands of clergymen in Sussex have today met with the Home Secretary to discuss the government's planned inquiry into the issue, which has been mired in controversy from the outset. Two people appointed to head it up have already had to step aside after questions were raised about their links with establishment figures. Phil Johnson from Eastbourne says that the government should have spoken to victims like himself earlier. John Hunt reports. The Home Secretary meeting child abuse survivors in the wake of a shambolic start to an inquiry she set up. Among them, Phil Johnson, abused by a Church of England priest. He and others expressed concern that Theresa May hadn't listened to them sooner. I think the survivors and their organisation should have been consulted a long time ago. Um, it's good that they are now. Um, I don't think that's necessarily a sign of desperation. I think it's a sign of regret and trying to put things right. I just hope that it's not lip service and it's not just to, to pat us on the head and ask us to go away. I hope someone really listens and understands that this needs a fully independent inquiry. Retired Judge Baroness Butler Sloss stepped down as head of the child abuse inquiry in July, barely a week after being named in the role, after Mr Johnson and other survivors questioned her suitability. In September, the Home Secretary appointed the Lord Mayor of London, Fiona Wolfe, as the new chair to replace Butler Sloss. But less than two months later, Fiona Wolfe resigned, saying victims did not have confidence in her. The survivors group gathered here today said that they impressed upon the Home Secretary the need for a credible person to head up the child abuse inquiry, and they suggested a number of names for the Home Secretary to consider. They also reiterated their wish that the inquiry is given statutory powers. We feel that the Home Secretary very much had a far greater understanding of the issues when she left than when she arrived, and she said that wholeheartedly. And we've agreed that this dialogue needs to continue. The Home Office have realised that there have been many mistakes, and, and by a uh, unanimous decision it has been a disastrous start to the inquiry. It, th that's a widely recognised fact, and now it's time to move on. Peter, thank you very much indeed. Pleasure thank to you. see you again. Look forward to our next meeting. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Theresa May spent two hours hearing the passionate views of child abuse survivors but left without comment. Campaigners say they feel she got it and look forward to more constructive dialogue. John Hunt, BBC South East Today in London.